Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to TradeStation. My name is Michael Burke. I'm Vice President of Client Training here at TradeStation, and I want to welcome you to another edition of our Art of TradeStation series. Uh, this series of events is designed to highlight some of the more powerful features and customization capabilities of the TradeStation desktop trading platform. And today's event will showcase candlestick analysis inside the TradeStation desktop platform, including a discussion and an example of the Heiken Ashi candles. Uh, this event, like all events at TradeStation, will be archived and posted on our YouTube channel in a day or so. And there are about a dozen of these Art of TradeStation events on YouTube that you can watch. And all of these sessions, these videos, come with open code, easy language resources and workspaces. And they're available to download right from YouTube in the video description. So definitely check that out. Here in the chat, I'm going to push the zip file for today. It includes uh, the easy language, uh, custom easy language that I'm going to show you, some workspaces, and a, a PDF of my PowerPoint so you don't have to take pictures of the screen. So the workspaces that are in that zip file only work in TradeStation 10, but the easy language works in 9.5. So you can still import the easy language and build your own workspaces. The workspaces are pretty easy to build. Keep in mind that the following presentation is for educational purposes only. All of the symbols and trading ideas discussed are for educational purposes and are not recommendations. Active trading is not suitable for everyone. And you can find additional disclosure information on the TradeStation website. If you're just getting started with TradeStation and, and looking to, to get up to speed uh, as quickly as possible, I, I recommend looking at the TradeStation Securities Getting Started channel. It's hosted on You Can Trade, which is one of the TradeStation Group affiliates. And every day there's something new to learn. You can ask questions, watch on-demand videos, there's uh, downloadable workspaces, there's lots of resources uh, to really help you get up and running quickly. So check it out, It's you can join for free. And once you've been with TradeStation for a little while and you're looking to really take that experience with TradeStation to the next level, um, you need to, to check out and join our new online masterclass. It's a community of traders and um, you get all the same great training that we used to offer in our in-person masterclass. In-person masterclasses really aren't possible right now, but our online masterclass feels very much like that. Um, you get all the advanced platform training. There's Q&A sessions throughout the week. Um, you, can you have access to, to advanced courses on strategy trading and easy language. Every day there's a, something new to learn. There's, there's technical analysis sessions, strategy trading sessions, and it's all included. And there's even, um, we've started our strategy concepts advanced white paper. So you can download a, an advanced white paper with all the tools, open easy language source code, um, and you can check it all out for free for 14 days. If you like it, it's just $59 a month after that. So today we're going to talk about candlestick analysis and Heiken Ashi inside the TradeStation platform. We'll talk about some basic fundamental concepts around candlestick analysis. We'll talk about the different charting styles within the TradeStation platform, uh, key patterns and how to identify key patterns, and how to scan for opportunities in real time and radar screen for certain candlestick patterns. Uh, I have a custom tool that I use for that and I'm, I'm sharing that with you in that in that zip file. And of course, we're also going to talk about Heiken Ashi. So Heiken Ashi is, is something I get asked a about a lot. It doesn't come by default inside of TradeStation, so those tools are in that zip file as well. And we'll talk a little about the concepts around Heiken Ashi and how you can use that in your trading. So let's start off with a couple of just basic candlestick concepts uh, so that we're all kind of on the same page. This is probably a bit of a review for, for many of you, but bear with me. We'll, uh, we'll get through this pretty quickly. Candlesticks is a type of charting bar style that helps us better visualize the relationship between the open and the close. Candlesticks are all about the relationship between the open and the close. Is the close higher than the open or is the close less than the open? So is it an up candle or is it a down candle? So that's, the, that's called the body of the candle, that relationship between the open and the close. And then the wicks that you see on either end of the candle represent the high and low of that particular bar. Candlestick patterns can be used on any bar interval from from tick charts all the way up to monthly charts so anything and anything in between it's just a way again of highlighting that relationship between the open and the close and 
this is a, a type of, of charting style that lends itself to pattern recognition. So there are dozens and dozens of unique candlestick patterns that traders look for to help them find reversal patterns in the market. And I'll probably say this a couple of times, so I'm going to start by saying it now, that most candlestick patterns, uh, when we talk about things like engulfing patterns or hammers or, or stars, those are all primarily reversing patterns. Most candlestick patterns are reversing panel patterns. And there's a number of tools inside of the TradeStation platform by default that are built in that help us identify some of these candlestick patterns. So we need, to, we need to master two things. One is we need to master the way that TradeStation displays candlestick charts. And next, we need to master being able to identify certain candlestick patterns that we're looking for within our trading. So let's start off by talking about what is a candlestick telling us. What is that charting style telling us? So as I mentioned, if it's a green candle or a hollow candle, candlesticks can either be solid uh, with two different colors or they can be hollow and filled. And we'll, we'll talk about that here in a second. But for this slide, a green candle is where the close is greater than the open. That's a buying candle. Buyers were in control of that bar and the close was higher than the open. A red down candle, the sellers were in charge of that bar, and it closed below the open. So red and green candles. Now the shadows, or the wicks, above the body, if it's above the body, it represents a selling shadow or selling pressure. Think about this for a second. If the buyers are in control, they're driving the market higher and higher until it reaches a high, and then they the, the buying power kind of dries up and sellers take over and then the sellers are going to drive the market down until the market closes somewhere right so that sh that shadow that wick at the top of the candle represents selling pressure that's the selling shadow and just the opposite at the bottom if sellers are in control of the candle and it drives it down to a new low but then buyers come back in and bring it back to the close those, those shadows or those wicks at the bottom represent buying pressure. So when you see a big wick at the bottom, you know that there was buying pressure at the end of that candle. Or if you see large wicks or big shadows at the top, you know there was selling pressure toward the end of that candle. That can be very useful. So the traditional way that candles were drawn before computers was with the concept of hollow and filled. And nowadays, we apply color to it, so it makes it really easy to understand whether it's an up candle or a down candle. But this was the original way that it was hand-drawn on graph paper. A, a solid candle is a down candle. A hollow candle is an up candle. And I'm building this in TradeStation by just turning off the color of the candles. With, and, uh, and I'll show you how to do this when we, when we get to TradeStation. But... I want you to think about this concept when we get to one of the charting styles inside of TradeStation, which is called Candlestick with Trend. So Candlestick with Trend is a hollow and filled candle, and then we apply a color to it that represents the trend of the market. The color on, a, on that particular style of candlestick does not represent the whether it's an up candle or a down candle. It represents the trend. So it's really important to understand this this charting style where a, a hollow candle is an up candle and a filled candle is a down candle. So that's, that's the traditional way that candlesticks are represented. In TradeStation, we have two types of candlestick styles. And if you go to data and edit symbol, you'll go to, there's a style tab there and you can choose an open high low closed bar. You can open, you can choose a uh, just a line on close. So there's lots of different charting styles to display the data for a particular symbol on a particular interval. But there are two candlestick styles that we can choose. On the left is the standard candlestick. That was the standard candlestick in TradeStation for, for many, many, many years uh, at the very beginning of uh, when TradeStation first started as a software company. Uh, that was the candlestick style that, that we had, and that was the only one we had in those days. So there it's really easy. A green candle is an up candle and a red candle is a down candle. 
Ironically, in Japan, it's the opposite. A red candle is an up candle and a green candle is a down candle. So um, if you're traveling overseas, be careful where you are uh, based on the candle uh, data that you're looking at. You might want to look at that, double check that style to make sure that up is green and red is, uh, is down. So it's really easy to understand. You can see the body there is either red or green, and then you can see the wicks on either side, up or down, on, on above or below the, bo uh, the, the body there. So very simple, very easy to understand. So but take a look at the chart on the right. Here, I, I, let's do a thought experiment for just a second here. I want you to look at the chart on the right, and I want you to take away the color. So there's no color now on that chart on the right. You're just seeing hollow and filled candles. OK, you with me on that? So notice that the hollow candles are up candles, and the filled candles are down calendars. Again, there's no color here. We're just looking at white. But now we're going to add the color back in. And the color doesn't represent the candle body anymore. The candle is just the color is just whether or not the close of this candle is higher than the close of the previous candle. That's why we call it candlestick with trend. The candlestick is hollow and filled. The trend, the trend is red or green. Let me show you a couple of examples so you, you kind of get the feel for this. Take a look at this candle right here. That is a red hollow candle. Hollow candles are up candles. But the reason it's red is because the close of this candle is less than the close of the previous candle. So the trend from this bar to that bar is down. And so we paint the candle red. Even though it is an up candle, it's hollow, it's red because the close is less than the close of one bar ago. And that's candlestick with trend right there in a nutshell. Take a look at this bar right up here. So that is a filled candle. That means it's a down candle. The close is less than the open. But the close is higher than the close of the previous bar. So the trend is up. And so we paint it green. So the trend is the color, whether or not the bar closed higher than the previous bar. And the candlestick concept is hollow and filled. So we can take those candle we can take those candles and turn them into patterns. And there's a, a whole science on candlestick pattern recognition. And here's just a handful of, of some of the more common candlestick patterns. But there are many, many more than this. And there are lots of resources and books on candlestick analysis. Steve Nissen has a number of, um, of kind of the essential work on candlestick patterns over the years. So you can take a look at his books. Um, but there's lots of different ways of uh, looking at these candle bars and, and creating patterns from them that we can either incorporate into our trading or build strategies around them um, and use them, use them in, our, in, in that way within our trading. Here's just a, a handful of patterns that, that I typically look at. Engulfing patterns, you've probably heard of bullish engulfing or bearish engulfing patterns, right? Um, well, an engulfing pattern really is just an outside bar that's up or down. So you can see how candlesticks have kind of, how we've, we've taken the, the candle concepts and kind of made them our own. So if you're not looking at a candle, maybe you're just looking at an open, high, low, close bar. If you have an outside bar, if that was a candle stick chart, it would be an engulfing pattern. Haramis are inside bars. A doji is where there is indecision. The open and close are very close to each other. So that might be a, a, a period of, of consolidation uh, for that particular bar, or, or the market is not really sure where it's going to go next. So we look, we look for dojis a lot of times at the top and bottom of trends. And as I said earlier, most candlestick patterns are reversing patterns. So things like hanging man or hammers, evening and morning stars, these are all kind of pivots or key reversal uh, patterns, very similar. Um, to those types of patterns. So, and again, these typically happen at the top or bottom of a, of a trend. So every candlestick pattern has a, <clears throat> a unique set of rules. And we have put all of those unique rules for each of the candlestick patterns 
into a set of functions that you can use in easy language to build your own indicators and strategies. And there's a, a number of show me studies that we've pre-built with most of the common candlestick patterns that you can put into a chart or put into radar screen for, for scanning. So I just wanted to give you kind of a feel for this. I'm not going to talk through this slide, but this is kind of for reference when you go back to the PDF. You can kind of get a feel for those bullish candlestick patterns and those bearish candlestick patterns. And, and these are all patterns that we have show me's for in TradeStation. You can just drop those into a chart and, and find that particular pattern historically. The, the whole point of looking at charts and applying different types of analysis is to visually backtest that idea. You put a you put a pattern in the chart, like a, an engulfing pattern, and you look back through the chart and you see everywhere there was an engulfing pattern, and you look at the bars and you, you, see, you say to yourself, okay, what happened every time there was a bullish engulfing pattern? What happened two, three, four, five bars away from that, that pattern? Did the market go up? Did it go down? What, what, is the, what, is the way, what is the behavior of that pattern and the price action after that pattern occurs? So, you know, that's kind of the whole thing about technical analysis, if you think about it, is that when we put indicators in the chart, we're visually backtesting to see whether that indicator is correlating with the same price move that we think that the market should be doing after that indicator does something that we expect it to do, like a, let's say, MACD crossing over zero or stochastic, you know, crossing below 20. What happens to the price action whenever that happens? So we're always visually backtesting. Uh, the indicators that are in the chart. And TradeStation gives the ability, which you know takes it to that next level, where you can actually build rules that says, I, you know, I want to test this in dollars. So I want to buy here and get out here, and I can create a strategy for any idea, any pattern, any indicator, and see whether or not that idea makes money on this symbol at this interval before I risk my money on, on the next pattern or the next signal. So TradeStation gives us that ability. And this is kind of how it does it. So here in the, the chart, I have right clicked on the chart and I've said, uh, I've, I've gone to uh, add study. And I clicked on show me. And here you can see that built into TradeStation are all of these different show me candlestick patterns. And I can click on one or more of them and put them right into the chart. And then in the chart over here, you can see these little dots at the bottom of the bars, right? So each of those little dots represents a pattern that is true on that bar. So you could put one or more of these in. Maybe you're looking for bullish and bearish engulfing. Maybe you're looking for morning stars and shooting stars. You put those into the chart and you'll get a dot at the bottom of every bar where that condition is true. Now, if you, and of course the dot doesn't really tell you much, but if you click and hold your mouse button down on that bar, it'll tell you which pattern it was in a little data tip. So that's the idea. And you can also put these into radar screen. And so if the pattern is true on the current bar in radar screen, it'll put a little number in the cell. And you, you can then click on that symbol and, and take a look at the chart and, and look at that pattern. So that's the way it works right now out of the box. So what I decided to do was to make it a little bit easier for traders with, with the, the candle patterns. And so what I did is I took all of the candle patterns, all of those functions, and just put them into one indicator. And instead of just putting a dot on the bar, I actually put the name of the pattern on the bar. So it makes it really easy to see which pattern is active on any bar. So this has maybe a dozen of the more common candlestick patterns that you can, uh, that you'd want to look for. And you can put that on any chart and it will show you with the little text message what pattern was on what bar. And that's the idea. And so it just makes it a little bit easier. And that tool is in the zip file that I, that I put into the chat. So now that we have this indicator that has all of the candlestick patterns in it condensed into one study, I can also put that study into radar screen. And so now, Radar screen is going to tell me on a list of symbols what is the active pattern on the last bar in the chart. You can see a lot of the symbols don't have an active candlestick pattern right now in this particular view. But here I can look at those, you know, if I'm interested in hanging men, which, which is one of the patterns that I look for, um, when that pattern occurs in real time, it shows me a message here in radar screen. I can click on that symbol, take a look at the chart, and see if that is a, a trade I might want to make. So. I, I get the ability here really easily to see the patterns in the chart, 
and I also get to scan for those patterns in real time and and tell me and, it, and radar screen tell me what pattern is active at that particular moment. Okay, so one of the things I get asked about a lot is uh, Heiken Ashi candles. Some people spell it with an I. I spell it with an E. Don't ask me why. It's just the way I spell it, but E is acceptable as well. Um, in Japanese, it means roughly average bar. And what it does is it is a slightly different way of building candlestick bars. Instead of just looking at the current bar, it also looks at the previous bars open and close. And uh, the mathematics to the Heiken Ashi bars are built into the study that you have in that zip file. So you can open that up and see exactly how it's calculated. But it's a very common formula that uh, everyone uses. You can find it on the internet as well. And the idea behind Heiken Ashi is that it tries to eliminate the noise of just the red and green up and down candles. It tries to identify a trend. And so it smooths out some of that noise and it identifies uh, longer term trends than just what's happening on the current bar. And, and that's really the idea. So in our trading, we're gonna use this to stay in trades a little bit longer if we're in a trend trade. And we're gonna look for reversals from, for the Heish Kanashi to go from a bullish trend to a bearish trend. Take a look at this chart right here. So it looks very similar to candles, but the formula is very different. And if you were to look at the prices of the Heiken Ashi candle, they would not necessarily match the actual open, high, low, and close. Well, they might match the high and low, maybe. They might match the open and close, maybe. But primarily, they don't match the actual bar prices because it's using a, a formula that looks at the previous open and close and it, it averages some of those values. But you can see in this particular chart that it's really good at identifying when you're in an uptrend or when you're in a downtrend. You can see a little bit of a pullback here, but it's still pretty good at identifying those trends. And very often, if you were to look at this next to a regular candlestick, many of these bars would be red, many of these bars would be green. So Heiken Ashi is attempting to smooth that out and show you the trend of the market using a, a modified candlestick calculation. And that's the idea. So I have been you know, working with Heiken Ashi for a long, long time. And I've always tried to figure out, kind of figure out how I want to display this in radar screen. And so I've gone back and forth on a lot of different ideas. So right now, in this particular workspace that I gave you, what I'm doing with Heiken Ashi in radar screen is I'm showing you what the last three bars were. So that's the idea here. And, and this is open source code. So if you want to put in other rules or other columns, or you know maybe you want to identify the trend or when the trend is reversing, or there's a lot of different ways you can imagine that you can you know, use this Heiken Ashi concept and scan for trading ideas in, in radar screen. So whatever your idea is, that's the beauty of all this, is that you have the open source code for the one I have, and you can just modify it a little bit to identify alerts or conditions that you think um, you want to scan for in uh, for your trading in radar screen. So take a look here. For example, this is uh, Autodesk, ADSK. So here, if I look at uh, ADSK right here, you see how it says green, green, red? So green, green, red right there. So that represents this green, green, red over here. So it's just, it just shows you the colors of the last three bars. So if it's all green, you're in an uptrend. If it's all red, you're in a downtrend. That's kind of the idea. So in that zip file, make sure that you install the ELD files first so that there's an ELD file inside of uh, that zip file that contains all of the easy language that has to be installed before you open the workspaces. Otherwise, the workspaces um, will tell you that uh, those indicators don't exist. So just make sure that you install the uh, ELD files first. If you double click on that ELD file, it'll start a wizard and import it right into TradeStation so it makes it really easy. And then you can open up those workspaces. Remember, those workspaces only work in 10, but the easy language works in both 9.5 and 10. All right, so let's look at this. So this is the Heiken Ashi uh, workspace. 
and there you can see Autodesk right now. The Today we have three green candles. You can see those three green candles here. And the windows are linked together. I'm looking at daily charts, but you know, Heiken Ashi can work on intraday charts. You can put this on a 10 minute chart or a 15 minute chart, whatever, whatever, um, uh, whatever interval you're trading. Let me show you how to change that here in uh, radar screen. So right now you'll notice that radar screen, these are all daily intervals. Remember that radar screen is this incredible real time scanning tool that allows you to put historical indicators on a list of symbols. So each row here is a chart. It has all the data that the chart has, so it's able to calculate any indicator, like stochastic or MACD, or in this case, Heiken Ashi. And so, and they're linked together. So here, if I look at Apple, um, you can see that that is red, red, green, red, red, green. You can see that right there. So if I wanted to, let's say, let's say I'm a day trader and I wanna look at this on a 10 minute chart. What I can do is I can click on the symbol column. Notice how I've highlighted that and I right click go to time frame and then oh they don't have 10 minutes here so let's customize that i'm going to click customize customize all symbols minute i'm going to make that 10 minutes so now instead of a list of daily charts i have a list of 10 minute charts and if i click on apple again here now apple changes to a 10 minute chart so they're linked by symbol and by interval so here the pattern is red, green, green. You can see red, green, green here. And I can take a look at that. So, and again, you can have multiple pages, multiple intervals. You can set up your own set of symbols that can work on stocks or futures, whatever, whatever you're trading. So um, that's the, that's the Heiken Ashi concept. So this is the candlestick uh, identification workspace. And here, we have all the different patterns in the chart and it identifies, you know, it, it identifies them with a, a blue cross and the name if it's a bullish pattern. And if it's a bearish pattern, it's going to have the name and a magenta cross there. Um, and then there's a, a special feature inside of this indicator that uh, we used to use in the old days, but we, we don't use it as much as we used to, but I'm gonna show it to you here um, here in the chart, there's a special icon way over here on the right. You probably don't have this icon, but I'm going to show you how to turn it on. So this icon over here is called Analysis Commentary. And if I click on that, my mouse cursor changes into this little uh, conversation bubble. And if I click on a bar that has a pattern, like this bearish engulfing right there, it brings up a little dialogue that explains what a bearish engulfing is and how it might be used and how it's built. This is called analysis commentary. If I click on another bar that has a pattern, this is bullish Harami and it explains that pattern. So this is a, a cool little tool that allows developers to give you inline help with their indicator by clicking on a bar and then they'll tell you what that bar means in relationship to their indicator. So it's a cool feature. We don't use it as much as we used to, I don't know why. But um, I have it incorporated here in this candlestick recognition as an example. So how do you turn on this little icon? So what we're going to do is we're going to go to View. And we're going to go to Application Toolbars and Customize. And there's a toolbar here on the left. And you're going to turn on Charting Tools Classic. So that's probably unchecked for you right now. But if you check that, and click apply, you're gonna get this little icon over here on the right. You can click on that and click on the chart and it'll bring up the analysis commentary for that particular bar. Now if there's no pattern on the bar, nothing will come up. So it only is gonna give you information if there's a pattern on that particular bar. I think that's a cool feature. So let's go back to Heiken Ashi. So Craig, I am, um, it's interesting you said that because I have struggled in the past with getting them to, to line up a little bit. So here on, here on Apple, it's red, green, green. That's red, green, green. So it's, it's going this way. <laughs> so this is the current bar and then going that way. So for example, Autodesk is green, red, red. Yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I did it on purpose. Yes, it's funny you say that. But I mean, we, we, we read left to right. 
right? So the, 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 but the chart, the current bar is right to left. Now you're making me question my sanity, Craig, but that's okay. Maybe I should have done it the other way. So I think these are fun tools. I think it, it's a good demonstration of um, how you can use easy language kind of to take something that's really basic and turn it into something really powerful as a scanner. Um, and uh, so you have those tools. Uh, there are maybe a dozen of these types of videos on YouTube called The Art of Trade Station. It has its own playlist, so it's really easy to find those. Um, and then this is also the kind of content that you can get every day in Masterclass. So thanks everybody for joining me today. This was fun. Take a look at uh, the other videos on YouTube in the Art of Trade Station playlist. Check out Masterclass after Thanksgiving. And uh, we'll be doing these events all next year as well. So thanks everybody for joining. Have uh, a great evening. And uh, thanks for being a Trade Station customer. We'll see you again at another upcoming Trade Station event. Have a great night.